Good morning from Okaboji. Today we are in the Maritime Museum. It is a wonderful place all about the cool things that have happened and are happening in Okaboji. And my special guest, if you will call it today, is Lloyd Cunningham. He has some fabulous knowledge about the lake and about boating and a wonderful book. And we want Lloyd to tell us all about the book and everything that he knows. Lloyd, tell us about everything. Well, thank you very much, Kurt. I appreciate it. The, the book I've written is called The Death Boat, and it's the story of a boating accident right here on Westlake Okaboji. Two boats collided Sunday night, the 28th of July, 1929, and resulted in the death of nine passengers. One of the boats was Miss Thriller. You'll see the display here. She was known at the time as the fastest passenger boat in the country. The other boat was Zipper, owned by the Eagle Boat Line Company. Um, I stumbled into the story, not knowing anything about it, because I make underwater po photographs in Okaboji. I've taken a lot of photographs there, and I wanted to collect those and put them into a book. And I thought that an important part of my book would be who was the first diver in the lake. So I came down here to the Maritime Museum looking for a diving history, and there isn't much d history in the diving s display, but I saw a mannequin here, uh, and the mannequin was with the display about that boating accident. It said that a diver named Captain Thompson from Duluth, Minnesota was brought to Okaboji the year after the accident to recover Miss Thriller from the bottom of the lake. Um, they wanted to salvage the airplane engines that made her so fast. Well, I contacted the Maritime Museum in Duluth and the Maritime Museum put me in touch with his granddaughter and his granddaughter sent me gripping newspaper clippings or news newspaper clippings with gripping details in them about that accident. And so once I had that part of the story, I had to find out everything I could about Miss Thriller and the accident and what happened afterwards. Um, what I discovered was that the accident initiated a whole bunch of new boating regulations in Iowa. Because of that accident that took those nine lives, now all boats have to have a personal flotation device for every person on board the boat. They have to have an, a fire extinguisher. They have to have flotation systems built in that will hold the boat to the surface of the lake with a full complement pass of passengers and crew. And finally, they have to have nav navigation lights on the bow red on the left and green on the right and white, at, and white at the rear. We all know and accept those regulations, but they all initiated, uh, were initiated because of the cause of this accident. My book tells that story. It tells everything about the accident, the history of Miss Thriller, uh, the trials that followed the accident, um, and uh, the boating regulations I just mentioned. Uh, you can buy the book here at the Maritime Museum, or you can get it at the Barn Swallow gift shop in Okaboji. You can also find the, boat, uh, the book online at Amazon.com.